Hello everyone, welcome back to Yaren Geek. Today's video is a steelbook review. So today, as you can see, I'm reviewing the Lord of the Rings Motion Picture Trilogy on 4K. Now, when this was announced, oh, I was so excited, so excited. This is something I've been waiting for for years on 4K. And as soon as it was announced, I pre-ordered it and had to get the steelbook. Unfortunately, mine is a little bit I don't even have to see that, it's not straight, it's a bit bent, which is a bit of a shame, but the actual steelbooks themselves are okay, so that's the main thing. So let's uh, show you the outside of the, of the case first of all. So this is like a steelbook case, um, same as you would get for the actual steelbooks themselves. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a, uh, a matte finish, you can see that there, it's like a matte finish to it. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's the side of it. The actual spine, you've got the symbols down there, which are stickers, so you can remove them if you need to. I love that with the, the map on there. See Gondor on there and stuff. Really nice colours there, blue. Now the other side is the same as this. Let me just show the actual sleeve. Okay, so this is the sleeve, you can see here a bit more. If I hold that straight, so the still looks straight, but you can see it's a little bit slanted and off. So it's a bit of a shame, but I wasn't going to return it because I could have got a worse one or it might be the same, you know, or it could be that they've run out of stock. So I didn't want to risk it. And at the end of the day, as long as the still books are OK, which they are, I didn't mind. So as you can see, you get the Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers and Return of the King. Uh, so that's like that. Now you might think, why is Fellowship on the bottom and bring Return of the King on the top? But it's not when it's that way. You're looking at it from left to right. It looks okay. So that's the still book there. You've got the blue, red and green, which I think is quite nice on there. Now what I'll do is I'll take one out at a time. Oh, before I go on to that, actually, you can see here, which I think is a fantastic little thing, is the still book is separated by foam. You can see that there. So each still book is completely protected by this, by this, uh, this foam material. And I think that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Easy to get out. You haven't got to try and shake them to get out. As you can see, you've got little thumb holes there where my thumbs are. So really well designed and thought out. Protects the still books. Doesn't let them get scratched. So that's fantastic. So now let's look at the actual still books themselves now. Um, and let's start with the Fellowship of the Ring. So there we have the Fellowship of the Ring. And what a beautiful still book this is. Again, all of them have that frosted... Uh, it's not matte... It's matte, it's like a textured matte material. You can kind of get this idea of it there when you look at it in the light. Diffused, frosted feel to it. And it's really, really well detailed. Really good prints. You can see there's a fellowship there. It's got a really nice sort of greenish um, gold tone to it. So that's the full picture there. And here's the side. You can see the green on the writing again. And on the back of each of these, Get little emblems on this one. We've got the, the leaf symbol there. And there's all this stuff there, which is I think quite nice to have it on there. So you can at least you can see things. You can see actors, composers, directors, writers. I think that's quite nice to have on there. So if you ever need to see it, and it's made in demo, you know that. So that's that there. Now I'll just show you the inside. Now the inside you've got three discs. Now, because this is include, these are all 4K discs, there's no Blu-rays in here, but you've got the theatrical cut on one disc, and then you've got the extended version on two discs. There's one, and there's two. Now, this is the UK version. I can tell you that it does have, it says there, Dolby Vision, which I think is awesome. You also get Dolby Atmos as well. So that's fantastic. And I won't take all the discs out, but I'll show you what's under the left-hand one. It's easy for me to do. So you can get an idea as to, to what is underneath the other side there. Nice to have that bit of artwork under there, of the big statues on the river. So that's the Fellowship of the Ring. Now we go and get to the two towers. Now here's the two towers. Now this one's got a red and gold thing. Again, really good printing on this. It's not blurry at all. I'll get as close as I can. You can see it's not blurry. Very nice print. Because sometimes these things can look very pixelated or not very nicely done. There's the two towers there. Got a little sort of 
border around there. Not embossed, no embossing on this. No embossing at all. I think it'd be quite nice to have, have a bit of sort of debossing or something here, but doesn't doesn't uh, impact on it at all negatively at all. It's a beautiful look to it. I think these are fantastic steel books. They keep that Lord of the Rings feel to it, that rustic filmic feel. There's the spine. And back. You've got the horse symbol. Fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. Take it from a bit of a distance, you can get an idea of it. That's really, really nice. Love that. Excellent, I'll just show you the inside. So again, you get three discs. There's two discs on the right hand side. There's, there's another one under that. So you get an idea there as to what's underneath. Fantastic symbol, really, really cool. So there we go. So that's the two towers. And we go and get the last still book, Return of the King. Here's Return of the King. Now I think this is my favorite one. I just love the blue and, blue and uh, gold there. And I think that's such a good little picture. Look at that. Look at that. Imagine that on the wall. Would look fantastic, wouldn't it? There you go. He's got the eagles up there again. And the ring symbol, or the elvish writing there. I mean, that would be cool if that was embossed. That'd be really cool. I really like that one. Again, the spine. And the back of this one. You've got the, the crown. Excellent. What a really well worthwhile getting um, box set. I think the the normal 4K trilogy costs, I think, £75 here in the UK. And then it's £100 for the still books. And I think £25 extra for three still books, a nice collectible tin that comes in. I think it's well worth it. I really do. Oh, when you show the inside, let me show the inside. Oh, what a great image there on the inside. Excellent. What a fantastic battle scene that is. And again, there's, two, there's three discs in the set. There we go. So that's the actual still books themselves. Let me just put this back together again. Now, the actual um, films, I have seen all three myself. I've started, I started and finished my Lord of the Rings saga. Absolutely enjoyed enjoyed the hell out of these films they're all fantastic they're such classic films um you know if you've seen them before you know how good they are if you haven't seen them before please do watch them if you haven't seen the extended cut i can't recommend them enough the extended cut is so good yes it is longer sometimes i mean i think some discs i think some films are sort of three and a half four hours long maybe but if you're willing and happy to have a, a long journey, long adventure with these characters and this story. It's well worth investing your time into watching it. You learn so much more. You really, really do. And I can't go back to the theatricals now because they feel like they cut out so much. So if you haven't seen Extended, do watch them. The 4K quality is very good. So it is sharper than um, you get on, obviously, HD. Because it's, again... An uh, old school, it's classed old now, old school film with filmed on film and film stock. And it's, you know, it's going to have um, film noise, noise and stuff and grit and grain. You know, when I put on something like Aquaman 4K, you notice it. You notice it's in 4K because it's digital. This is 4K on a film and it's been rescanned at 4K from what I understand. It is clear. It is sharp. It is a fantastic picture. However, it didn't blow me away and made me think oh my god it's demo worthy but that's not at all me saying it's not worth getting it is worth getting it is sharper the colors are more lifelike the the dolby vision hdr really does make those dark scenes incredible you can see every bit of detail it is night and day you know i think better than the blu-ray however obviously two things one with hdr you do get um you do get darker film than you do on the Blu-ray. I know I tend to see Blu-rays when I put them on and then put the HDR, the 4K version of it on. The 4K has always seemed dark because of HDR because obviously it's able to you know, go darker and go brighter. But I would just say that I personally wouldn't say expect this insanely crisp, unbelievable picture. It is incredible picture, but it's not... It's not like I say, like a modern film like Aquaman or 
what else can I look at? Um, or Star Wars or something like that, where it's digitally shot, where it can have that kind of, I think, a more clean, modern look to it. It's a sharp, old school film. Do you know what I mean? It's a sharp uh, f f film that's been shot on film. I don't know if it makes any sense to anybody. I hope it does. Um, but yeah, all in all, definitely worth getting on 4K. The Dolby Atmos was brilliant. You could hear arrows whizzing past. You could hear the rustling of the leaves in the forests. You could hear the echo in the halls. Um, you could hear shouting from left and right. And it just adds this depth, like the rain and the storms and everything. It's definitely worth getting. So um, all in all, I mean, I, I, I really do recommend getting it. Definitely. I mean, if you're a fan of these films, you're silly not to get them, especially on 4K. And, I, you know, I think this will be the last physical media format we're going to have for films that we do believe i think there's not going to be another format physical media because i think this is the last one so for me to have this on still book possibly the last time i have it in physical media i'm very very pleased i've got it so yeah start some comments let me know what you think have you bought this are you thinking of buying it uh, is it your favorite film which is your favorite do you prefer this trilogy or the hobbit trilogy i have to say when I watched the extended films of the, the these films, and I watched the extended of The Hobbit, I have to say, I'm afraid, I don't know why, I enjoy The Hobbit films more. It's not to say they're better films, but I enjoy them more. I think it's because it's more of a light-hearted fantasy adventure, and I, I love that. This is great when you fancy a deeper, grittier, darker fantasy film, whereas The Hobbit I love because I can just put it on, and it's just that kind of World of Warcraft kind of feel, that kind of fantasy book come to life feel to it. So I, I must admit, I do personally prefer and get more enjoyment out of the Hobbit extended trilogy than I do this trilogy. But they're both completely different. They're both, they're both 10 out of 10 for me, you know. So, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you do like the video, like it. If you didn't, thumbs down. Um, you know, is this a film that you're thinking of buying on 4k do you already have it if you do what do you think of it are you going to think about picking it up um and please do subscribe if you enjoy the content check out some other stuff um and stay safe bye bye